Well, welcome back to my channel of Northern Ants. I appreciate you coming back and watch another episode of Miss Survival. Uh, we are in build t uh, 0 0.5.0, .0, but we are on the beta branch now because they did a rollback to uh, the old version on the main branch uh, because of uh, incomplete areas or something. I'm not really sure why he rolled it back later the same day. Um, there's some areas that are not completed and stuff, but as of right now, we are uh, involved in one of the missed uh, events. Uh, I heard an explosion off in the distance. I did not have a pencil to mark it on my map, but uh, we did manage to see the smoke, so we came over here to, to help this guy out. Um, he ends up giving us something just like a uh, scrap metal or something like that. Um, just a uh, heads up if you're playing the game. Uh, one word of advice: uh, if you come across pencils, hold on to them because they're used for marking your maps, uh, so you can find out what location you are. Uh, you use the K key for the map, which is kind of unusual. Usually it's the M, but uh, for some reason it's the K. Uh, if you want to get into your inventory, you use the I key, or if you want to uh, do the build menu, it's the B button. For things like uh, cabins and uh, lockers and things like that. Uh, as of right now, we're just kind of exploring through some of the, the um, items that were in the truck for the guy that we rescued. If uh, those of you that are returning to watch the second episode and you've watched the first one, uh, you notice we are in a little bit different location than we were. Uh, I played a little bit um, after the fact, and uh, the reason why was because uh, the word of advice I have is do not set up in some random cabin uh, because going into the nighttime, the the dead were all around the cabin and you could not sleep I would try and I tried like 20 times to sleep and it would let me sleep for one minute so the night was dragging on and on and on and it was like I did not want to put that you know in the record because there's that's not really fun <laughs> um, it's kind of creepy though with, you know the, the zombies outside but I wanted to get back to the daytimes to so we could do some exploring of the map and see what's new. As of right now, it looks like we're outside of a camp. Um, and I, what I'm doing is I'm carrying this uh, suitcase because we currently do not have uh, much inventory space. Uh, I did restart. Uh, as you can tell, I do not have an axe like I did at the end of the last episode. And I do not have... Uh, the extra backpack space like I did. Uh, it kind of went off in a different direction uh, because I would, it, it once I was stuck in that cabin for <clears throat> seemed like forever I could not get past like one o'clock in the morning. Uh, I didn't want to just randomly go run out so I wanted to kind of uh, get reset up in a different location. Uh, so we are out exploring in the different direction this time. As you can see off in the distance there is some movement. Uh, it kind of looks like an aid station but I don't want to chance. I'm not sure who, what AI are uh, bandits and which ones are, if they're good guys, uh, which I doubt they're good guys uh, because they're places where you rescue the good guys at. Um, I did see quite a few people moving around back in there, so I decided to, to kind of avoid it, seeing I do not have a gun. <laughs> I did have a shotgun in the end of the last uh, playthrough, um, but I did lose that with restarting and I have not found another one yet.
kind of have it handy having the suitcase where I can carry along a few of the other things. Uh, I do kind of wish the the graphics were a little bit different on it. I wish like you could be carrying it in your hand. Uh, Seeing so it as a suitcase with the handle, that would be kind of a neat feature that would be nice if they would add. Some of these cars are static, so they don't you can't actually access inside of them. And being this early on, you have to really be careful on what you uh, what you decide to carry and stuff. I thought maybe there would be a backpack expansion inside the toilet like usual, but this one did not. There's a baseball bat, but I baseball bat's pretty much useless. I think you can upgrade them, but as of right now, with the amount of inventory space I have, I didn't want to bother with it. Some of the things like the cloth and things like that, I'm not sure if I'm going to need it quite yet, but I figured I'll grab a few of them. See, I do have the suitcase to add some more product. That's good. We, uh, hard sticks were hard to find, um, and that's what you use to build your spear. I wasn't able to find any in the last playthrough, so luckily I was able to this time. To get kind of started out, what I did is, I, as you can see, I put the, the terrain foliage uh, graphics down to low so that you're able to see some of the, the items in the ground which I do turn it back up at, later on in the video because uh, once you have the hard sticks so you can make a couple spears you don't need to have it down anymore because the sticks are really, like impossible to find so I figured I would do it. Seeing the game is still um, beta there's like three three of the towns that are not even close to being complete. Um, no product, nothing in them that for salvage and things like that. So I figured, you know, it's such an early trend or early version of the game. This would make it a little bit easier to get kind of on the roll, so we can kind of see what the maps look like and stuff. Firewood, not really something we need quite yet. We are pretty close to that enemy camp, so I'm not really sure if this is a good place to kind of hang out. There are some towers in the game. I'm thinking maybe up in one of those might be a good idea to set up uh, for the nighttime. Because being on ground level, the, the zombies keep you awake. There are some cabinets. Uh, quite a bit of got some food some uh, some cola, colas and you know, looks like Pepsis and stuff like that um, but as of right now like I said we don't have that much uh, space we'll make another spear so we have a weapon instead of just the hard stick Seems that the refrigerators are not something that open. Some more meat, some sugar, and some more matches, which I'll leave. We can pry this open. We do have a crowbar this time. Uh, detergent. I'm not really sure what that's going to be for. I might just leave it here, and we can always come back at some point. I'm looking forward to trying to build a treehouse. That is something that um, there is new in the this new version, um, building platforms and things like that. I was thinking of making a video on the, you know, on the added features and stuff. He did post uh, what's new in the game and things like that on Steam. Uh, but I figured if you want, just uh, head over to the Steam page and. You can um, check it out if you want me to do a video on the new features and stuff. Let me know down in the comments, and I can see if I get something put together so uh, you kind of get an idea a little bit more what's coming to the game. Um, it's still pretty early on, so a lot of stuff is still missing. One thing I did notice is uh, when I was in the mist, the zombies were actually the different clothing and stuff like that with uh, some of them uh, and uh, because the last 
when I was playing the first time around, there was uh, the zombies that were in that building uh, were the, looked exactly the same as they did in the old version, uh, but there was a few that looked different in this version. Oh, we've got a miss coming in, uh, so it's a good thing we're in the house. Uh, not sure, you know, how strong this house is. It's if it's something that they're going to be able to break into, or um, or if I'm safe in here or not. And get out and get my suitcase uh, before the zombies come. Can't remember. I put it around the front. Yeah. There it is. Grab that and uh, bring that in the house with us so we have this uh, any stuff that we might need because we got component and toolboxes and stuff like in here just in case we want to build something while we're waiting for the mist to clear up. Oh. As you can see, still early version, there's still bugs. Um, at least the suitcase stopped there. It didn't just fly off into the outer space. <laughs> Not really the best front door for staying hidden from uh, any zombies walking around out there. As you can see, our suitcase is pretty full, and our loot, is, or our inventory is full too. So we'll have to do something about making some more inventory space. Uh, some duct tape. We didn't have that yet, and a lock pick in that one. We've got a bedroom. Yeah, some of these cabinets. I'm not sure if the cabinets are meant to be empty some of them or if there's going to be a, with the updates and stuff I think this is an area that is actually complete so it's probably just what the inventory is going to be like one thing I do notice is uh, I look down and you can see I I have pants on <laughs> uh, for everybody that watched the old series uh, with the old version I was always running around in my underwear because they never gave us the opportunity to get pants. Um, that is one thing I really do like, the fact that they did that for us this time. Uh, you didn't even have to find them. They just automatically gave you some. You know, nothing like being stuck in the zombie apocalypse with in your underwear, you know. <laughs> I did notice the zombies outside the windows walking around. Uh, they do look like the old versions. I'm not sure if that's uh, something that's still going to be updated once uh, he gets farther along. Um, we are there's a lot of stuff that I've noticed in the new version that's uh, not really new yet. I'm not sure if it's going to be eventually or if not. I did come across a bear that uh, was rolling around on its back. I'm not sure if that w I put that in the last video. I'm I might have, um, but there are going to be bear cubs, I guess, is another thing that's being added, so the, the bear and then its cubs, uh, which I have a feeling will make the bear a lot more aggressive, because it'll be protecting the baby, um, and the pigs uh, are going to be uh, herding up, or, or herding up, They're, they'll be get, traveling together, which will be kind of nice if you're in short supply of food. Um, I'm not sure if once if you attack the herd if they're going to all attack you at once or if you know that's something I've not figured out yet it's something we'll learn together as we go along I'm gonna build myself a locker uh, it's got a little bit more storage space than the suitcase does so figured we'd put one of those together and move the product from the suitcase over into the locker because you can carry the locker just as well as you can the the suitcase floating out in front of you with telekinesis powers or whatever that is where you can move stuff with your mind. <laughs> no, it, it You wouldn't be able to move a locker by hand. Well, you could, but it would be really hard to run with it and stuff. No, all things that I would, would love to see in the game where if it would be a little more realistic in that aspect of uh, if you're going to run with something 
like a locker you couldn't be carrying your spear at the same time you'd have to have both hands uh, with a suitcase if you could grab the handle and carry it beside you and still be able to have your like a spear or something in your other hand would be kind of a cool thing all things that may or may not come to the game eventually got a lot of ammo and stuff but we've not come across the gun yet I'm wondering how the the other player the AI players handle the zombies if they when you're not when you don't see them they don't actually attack them um, as you can see there's a few of them walking around outside like to try to sleep a little bit to see if we can't get past this uh, mist so we can continue on our journey of exploring the vast area. Um, I did find out um, by reading the post from this morning on the Steam page um, that the map is going to be the final version of the map. Uh, it's not going to change anymore, which it's changed a lot over the last few quite a few years since the game has been in development. Um, the map has gone through a lot of different variations and stuff. I guess now it's going to be um, this. From now on, there's going to be some like three more areas that are going to be added to the map, um, but on top of the ones that are already existing in the map. Yeah, as you can see, that zombie walking around outside is the, the same version of the ones that were in the last... Uh, version of the game. Uh, the mist is kind of finally rolling off. You can see it's just off in the distance, uh, but the zombies are still able to be around out in it. So, taking a, we're going to do our options now and move our foliage uh, back up to Ultra uh, because we're not going to be needing to find those hard sticks because I've got two spears already. We may have to turn it back off if I want to try to find some hard sticks again. Um, out of the whole area that ran around, I was only able to find one hard stick, so... Or two, I mean. Two hard sticks, which you made uh, two spears out of. And that was running all over. You know, there was regular sticks, but the regular sticks are kind of uh, useless as of right now for anything that we need to build. I was a little bummed that we moved back to the the beta branch because I thought when you know we were delayed a few times, I was thinking that this uh, version was going to be more complete um, before he released. But what, I'm glad he did. Uh, I just kind of wish he would have moved it to beta branch like right away instead of kind of getting our hopes up that it was a little more fine-tuned. Uh, there's still a th few things like you can't swim right now. Um, as you saw in the last video, I tried to go in the water and it kind of freaks you out because you're wondering, okay, well, am I, is, my, is it going to crash the game or are we going to be glitched out into the water and have to start over? Um, but it, it didn't. We were able to uh, escape from the water. You know, kind of taking a look at the map here. Um, the two in the south was mapped the, over to the west, southwest, those two are not complete. And then there's the one next to the lake to the to the east, and then the little town to the north in between the two areas are areas that are not complete yet. Um, I think by not complete is probably there's no loot in them yet. Um, so they're kind of a pointless area to go to as of right now because there's nothing there that makes it worth worth going there in the first place. So we'll try to avoid those, uh, even though it's kind of hard to tell exactly where we are <laughs> without a pencil. Um, I had one pencil earlier on uh, in the second round of recording, uh, and I marked my spot on the map. But it disappears after you've left that area, I think, or after a certain amount of time. Uh, and I only had one pencil, so we're kind of stuck not knowing where we are at the time. Um, 
there's a church off in the distance here. I'm not sure if uh, if it's an enemy encampment or if it's uh, something open to us exploring it. We'll head over there now. Um, there is a. It would be nice to be able to get up on one of these platforms and kind of get a view around. So let's kind of go over here and see what we can see. Um, being a a nice big building like that would be kind of a cool place to set up but no oh, oh, oh no that eyeball um, that's the same as like in the old version uh, when you see the eyeball that's uh, them spotting you yep they saw me uh, so they are <laughs> they're shooting at me <laughs> So, luckily, uh, they're not good at shots, uh, probably because I'm running really fast away from them. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be able to find a compass or, or uh, make one or something uh, so we can kind of have an idea of which directions we're actually running in. This building looks like it might be a good place to kind of set up if I could. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the the base setup uh, work in the new version. It, in the old one, we, there was houses around. Like uh, if you watched the last playthrough that I did uh, with the old version, we set up in that big white house, and you're able to lock in that it's your your place. Um, in the last playthrough of this new version, we did set up in an area, uh, but it was just a tent, and the tent was next to a house, so I'm not sure if that was actually saying that uh, the whole area was ours, you know, like that was our new camp, the, the tent and the house, um, but uh, when I had restarted the the marker saying that it was our place was not clicked anymore, so, and plus the uh, there was a lot of glitches like uh, there was more arrows I could not pick them up there was another bow I could not pick up there was a machete that I was not able to pick up um, so there was a few items that should have been able to be gathered um, that would not so I'm thinking that's another problem um, that they were trying to fix and why they went back to the beta branch for this uh, five point or the, uh, point five zero uh, update that car looks like one that we could actually build it would be kind of a nice one it doesn't have the like the truck I did like the like the s10 style truck for the fact that you could put lockers and stuff in them but that that truck there has a lot of inventory space inside the back that you can just use instead of carrying along uh, lockers we did find ourselves a uh, inventory expansion, which is really nice. Uh, always a good thing to find while you're playing. Always make sure you check those outhouses, because it seems like that's the majority of the places where they're going to keep them. I like to check the tops of uh, trailers and stuff. The old version, sometimes you'd find guns and stuff up on top of those. Things are definitely a lot different in this version. Okay, good. We did find ourselves another axe. Um, this is a... It's... For some reason, it's not letting me move it to my hotbar. Um, I try moving... It, 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 I get close, and then it, it kicks it back down. Give it... Give it another try here. Uh, yeah, we see we keep everything. Try moving it to spot. Nope, see it made me drop it again. This is it what, the fourth, fifth time the charm? <laughs> nope, nope, put back to the ground again. That's another, uh, another glitch. Things are, you know, like I said, early on. We'll leave it where it's at right now, and we'll try a little bit later and see if we can't get it to to work. It might have just been where we were standing or something um, for the reasoning. 
one thing that I do like is there is a lot of, uh, of scrap. I'm not sure if, like, in the old version, I know there was cars around that you could break down. Uh, cinder blocks, that's new, and cement. I'm definitely not carrying all that with me right now. A bucket might be handy for water if we can, um, if we need to gather it. And we got a lot of components and toolboxes here, so that's good. Even, oh, we got a battery, which, uh, that's weird. As I was recording this, uh, that battery, it would, it doubled on me, I think it was, uh, there was one on the table and on the ground when I went to pick it up. Um, but now that I'm watching the record back, it's not there. That's kind of weird. Oh well. <laughs> That's why it's an early edition of the game and not a finished edition of the game. Now this truck I thought was one that we could, but I'm thinking because it has its wheels on it, it's probably not one that we can fix up to use. Unless unless this is because this is one of the trucks I think you can upgrade uh, put a gun on the top of it and stuff like that see it's not really indicating like you can drive it um, I'm thinking the only way you're gonna get one that is like kinda like this one where it has no wheels on it yet and uh, plus if the other one was uh, one that you could upgrade I think it would have had all four tires in its inventory that you could probably take away from it. Now this house, I'm not sure. It uh, It's pretty open and empty, which is kind of nice. It would be good for setting up as a base. But I'm thinking this is probably one of the houses that is not even close to complete because you cannot access any of the doors. Um, so you can't go into any of the other rooms. As you can see, I was attempting to go into them, but this, it wouldn't let me. Uh, checking the doors behind the door, nothing on that one. Plus upstairs, yeah, so you should be able to get into these rooms too um, for setting up like a camp. Um, definitely different models of the houses and stuff uh, than was in the old version, which is cool. Um, it's going to be fun to keep... Uh, continuing on I think we're getting pretty close to where we're gonna kinda use this as a place where we'll set up and start off again we'll see what's up the hill here as I magically levitate my locker in front of us so we got the main highway here um, that might be kind of an indicator for where we're at. Plus, there's a lot of stuff along these routes. Um, probably be attaching uh, pretty much all the towns and stuff. I uh, would like to find like an open field if we're not going to have a house that we can actually claim and, and expand in. I'd like to find a big open field uh, to build so we can build some platforms and uh, build our own cabins uh, to set up in but first we need to find like a lot of stuff like for one I have no idea where the mines are at now seeing the map is completely new um, if anybody knows where the mines are at uh, let me know down in the comments um, or for any tips or tricks that you might have um, that I can uh, use plus you know that way I'll have them to share with other people um, like the fact that you know hold on to your pencils when you find them plus uh, don't just set up in some random log cabin that was the mistake I made with the end of the last uh, playthrough is uh, it wasn't the one that I let off in um, I had uh, started up again before that and uh, it was the cabin, another log cabin, didn't have a tent next to it. 
um, I got held up in there through the dark and it uh, was why I restarted so kind of a word of advice to avoid that place and stuff so okay well I think we're gonna stop here for this episode I do really appreciate you coming and hanging out um, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so I'd really appreciate it um, and check out my playlist I do a lot more than just gaming so you have a great rest of your day thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out i do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos so check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today thank you so much comment down below what you thought or just say hi have a great rest of your day